In this brief video, I want to demonstrate how to use the speed bar. The speed bar is located at the top of the page, just underneath the tabs within Matrix. The first thing you're going to use it for is to type in your MLS number. Type in your MLS number and hit enter, and it takes you right to your results. You can type in multiple MLS numbers, separated by a comma or a space, and then type in your next one with the MLS number and hit enter again and you'll get them again. You can do as many MLS numbers in this box as you like. Now the next thing you can do here is type in an address of a property. If you type in the street number and the street name, now be careful don't type in the north, south, east, or west but just do the street name. Don't even do the lane or street or avenue as that's not part of the street name either. That's part of the street type. So, street number, street name, hit enter, and there's your listings on that address. Now you'll notice it pulled up everything on that address, expired, withdrawn, active, and, and solds. Even if it had multiple property types, it would have pulled those up too. Now, let's say you're not really sure if Oak Kills is one word or two words. You're going to use an asterisk after Oak as you're not sure if it's one word or two, so you just know it's the street number and it starts with oak. So the asterisk just means you don't know what it ends with. Now when you do your search, you're going to get everything that has that street number begins with oak. And you'll actually notice I picked up one new one here. And that's one that was oak kills one word. So if you're ever not sure, this is always the best way to go as it'll find it. Uh, one word or, or two words here. Now you can actually do the opposite of this. Let's say you know it ends with oak. You do an asterisk and then oak. That means it ends with oak. Do your search and nothing found. Now let's say you don't know the street number but you know it's on oak hills. You can just do it this way also. Do your search and now you get everything on oak hills. Uh, now here you'll notice I'm getting all statuses once again but what I can do after O kills I can just do a space and then an A for active and now I'll just get the actives on O kills and you can go that route and one one last thing here is if you knew it was oak something but you're not really sure you can do an asterisk oak which means it ends with oak. But if you do an asterisk again, that means somewhere in the middle of the street name is the word or the letters O-A-K. So by doing this search, you're getting River Oaks, Oak Hill, White Oak, just anywhere in here is O-A-K. So wild cards are gonna be very important throughout Matrix when you're searching. So use them and the more uh, the less you type in here with an asterisk, the more results you'll get. One other thing you're going to use the speed bar for is something like this. You can do an A for active, space, res for residential, space, and then you can do a dollar sign and then a price range. 100 minus means 100 or below. If you do 100 plus, that means 100,000 and greater. If you do 100 dash 200, that just means between 100,000 and 200,000. Then if you come over here and type in a zip code, 72712, and hit enter, you're going to notice you're going to get all active listings, residential, between 100 and 200,000 in that zip code. You can actually do multiple zip codes here, but they have to be back to back when you do them. So 727, let's say 56, do your search, and you'll just get a little bit more. Now I've got listings in both of those zip codes. Instead of using zip codes here, you can actually do towns. So I can type in Rogers. Now, when you're doing towns, you can only do one town at a time not like uh, the zip codes where you can do multiple towns so just one at a time here and it doesn't have to be in this order either I could have put my zip codes or my towns right here at the very beginning and then do my search and I would still get the same thing 
So the order doesn't matter unless, like I showed you, on the zip codes, you have to put them back to back with the space in between them. And one other thing you can do here is you can do uh, like three, two. That means three bedrooms, two bathrooms. That means exactly three bedrooms, exactly two bathrooms. This is one other situation where you need to put these back to back in order to get them. Because if I just typed in three, that means three bedrooms. And I can care less about the bathrooms. So I'll do the three, two, hit my search. And now I got all the listings in that town of Rogers between that price range with exactly three bedrooms and exactly two bathrooms. Once again, I can do the three plus for three or more bedrooms or three dash four, the three to four bedrooms in this space and then two or two plus and do my search. So these are some quick way of doing searches just by using that speed bar. And if it's something really simple that you know, just plug away up here. It saves a lot of time than going up to search, picking your property type, and then going down, picking your status, picking your uh, town, typing your price range here. It's just a quick way of doing things. I hope this little video helps you and look for, forward to other videos that we will provide for you. Thank you.